What if you have a deal come at you with all kinds of pivots necessary, a court order to, for the sale, a divorce, and all kinds of curveballs? How do you handle it? And how do you handle it by yourself? Hey there, it's Chris Prefontaine with another Deal Structure Sunday. I am with Cami and Greg Goucher from Ohio. I get that right, I hope. Um, I get confused with all these associates. Uh, high Six Associates, coaches in training. Uh, welcome to the Deal Structure, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Chris. Glad to be here. We're going to have some fun. I'll flip over to the uh, deal sheet so the viewers can see it as we go. Uh, first, let's talk about the basics, and then we'll get into the, the weirdness. Um, the, talk about the source and then how, how long it took and how you got it, because I know we do different things for that, and I'll flip over while you guys are doing that. Got it. It's an expired, and uh, we got it because it uh, was uh, court-ordered. Uh, it's due to a divorce. And uh, so they had to, uh, they've been trying to sell the home uh, with a realtor and actually never even had any showings during the time. So they, the uh, ex-husband was rather frustrated about uh, not getting, getting it sold. And uh, we approached him and he loved the fact he'd actually already done turns in the past out in California. And so he understood it. And he loved the fact that there were no fees and, and he could lock in all the equity and be able to split it with his ex-wife. Okay, so how about time from beginning to end? Like, do you remember anything weird there or just how long it take? So, yeah, we started talking to him at the end of January. It was my first call. We had our first appointment uh, a couple weeks later in February, early February. And then it took us um, almost four or five weeks to uh, get, the, uh, get the taken. And uh, it took us some time to work, negotiate it between uh, both ex-husband and, and wife. But you forgot to say, mm -hmm. the ex-wife did not agree. <clears throat> Greg had uh -huh. talked to her several times and she would not sign the quick claim deed so we could go ahead and um, you know, market the property. So we took a chance and decided to do it anyway. And we thought if we brought a buyer to her that maybe she would be more willing so we went ahead and did the contract just with the ex-husband to go ahead and, and start marketing and see what happens. So we did that and gosh, 40 days into it, uh, we had a buyer we felt really good about and it took probably another seven to 10 days to, to you know, explain to the ex-wife how great of a buyer they were and kind of, you know, we talked them up. Um, because they are a great couple, not that, that we had to say anything that wasn't true, but, you know, we had to get her on board to sign the quick right. claim deed so we could actually move forward with the deal. So well, I forget, I, I truly forget, I always say this on deal structures because I got all these deals in my head, like we did the deal with the husband and what was the reason she had a deed to him to do that, but why didn't we just do the deal with the joint group? Yeah, she she did. She wouldn't sign the documents. She wouldn't sign anything. Uh, she actually wanted to sell it outright, Got and it. I didn't feel comfortable. She was a former realtor who didn't really had some misconceptions about doing terms, and uh, and so really it helped out when we actually got the buyer, and I was able to talk to her during those seven to ten days before we uh, before she agreed. Uh, she finally, she had done some research and looked at national property team and saw that, wow, there's an 80 group investors. That's what we're doing. Been doing it for, you know, 30 plus years. And that was really the, the, the what sealed the deal. Plus that we hire. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah, I didn't, you may have told me, so, so I'm not saying you're telling me, but I don't remember that. So that's really cool. So just for the viewers to know, cause I don't think they think that comes up much on deal structure, if at all. So national property team, if you go to nationalpropertyteam.com where they went, it is really our national group of associates and some international, and it allows, it allows a bunch of things you guys can comment, but it certainly allows credibility, clearly, that's what happened here. Mm -hmm. um, so and it allows to see all these different deals and all these different testimonials, you get that when you're an associate. So that's cool you brought that up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this says, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna clarify for these guys, this says, um, purchase price. But instead of purchase price, what we do is we take the amount that's owed and if there's any equity and we say, we'll give you that equity and we'll pay off the mortgage because that goes down over time. Was there any equity here? There was uh, 51,079. 
Oh, okay, so you stuck that down here. I see why you stuck that. All mm -hmm. right, so, so that's not a payday three for the viewers. That That is their equity of up, up here. So basically mm -hmm. they owed whatever, 375 minus 51, let's just call it three and a quarter, roughly, 324. Okay, so what we say for the viewers to know is we say, look, at the end of this term, which is 48 months or before, we're gonna give you your 51 grand, we're gonna pay off your loan, which is less. And that's how we benefit on payday three, but we'll get to that. So that's mm -hmm. accurate, right? Yes, yeah. it is. All right, cool. Then you went to the market, uh, as Cami said, for about 40 days-ish and put it on for just under 400. Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk about, so the whole process was like two months, right? It was, yeah. oh, correct. Not too shabby for the, for the amount we're gonna get to. Um, nope, so the deposit from the buyer was 31K. So, so payday one's 31K plus the 2299. I guess my question is for the viewers to know, we get first months because we always pay 30 days after we take occupancy. So good job to you guys. Where did the 2299 come from though? Because I see that they're paying 27 here. So that's just the monthly rent and then the added taxes. Okay, so what you did is you didn't take a proration of taxes when you figured their lease for this first month, you just took the regular. Right. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you could have got away with that. Did you try? Um, no. They're in the house. I we didn't. No. All right, so $700 you lost, but that's not that, that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, if it was bigger, I'd say something. So you basically, uh -huh. <laughs> 33 grand. Yeah. All right, I like that. That's it. That's where we were off, Greg. My numbers were two grand lower. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to round here just because I'm writing with a mouse, not right. my iPad, iPad. Okay, <laughs> this is PITI, this monthly mortgage payment. Correct. Uh -huh. Awesome. Um, and so, so that begs the question that the viewers are going, well, why do you add taxes then? For marketing reasons only, we sometimes will lower the price for, for to get enough volume. And in our videos, it explains to them that we're going to help them understand how to be a, a homeowner and how to be a homeowner is when you go get a mortgage, they add taxes. So that's how we come up to the final lease that they pay of 2748. Right. Anything there that was inaccurate, guys? No. No. Okay. You're making this easy. So the monthly <laughs> cash flow is roughly 360, which comes out to, is this, this is all 48 months, right? Yes. All right. So 17 grand and just disclosure. Uh, if they cash out sooner, which usually the pre-qualification says they are going to, it doesn't mean they do it, but they have the ability to. What did the pre-qual come back from the credit enhancement company in this one? Nine to 12 months. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so they but might cash out way early. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think it's going to happen because of COVID, because of the, re, you know, I, they've raised the FICA requirement of FICA. Yeah. The score so um, they were close uh, prior to COVID, but I, I really don't think that, um, you know, it's, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I would agree. So, all right. So the play here, in my opinion, guys, to see if you're on the same page as this is our goal is to help the buyers win. But in this case, there's no reason whatsoever to bug them until like year two, somewhere towards the end of year two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Because right. if they were given a nine to 12, if you give them 24 more months to look at it, even if they weren't doing anything, you're still great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, love it. Um, okay, so payday one uh, was 31, payday two is 17, 280. Correct. All right, cool. And then to get to payday three, we're going to take the surplus, which is not the 51, that's the equity they had. It's like uh, 24, 999. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 24,900. Correct. Right? Mm -hmm. Mark up on the house? Correct. Yeah. yeah. 24,900. All right, cool. So 24,900, but then when they go to close this out, we're going to add to it the principal pay down, which is times 48 is how much? Let me look. 17,280. Yeah. Okay. So that's the principal pay down. So we add yeah, that, exactly. that's our benefit, Correct. good. Mm -hmm. But then we take away the 31,000 that they already gave us up top. Correct. And we have a cash out of roughly, I came out with pennies more, but roughly 21,000. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So that's payday three. Then if you take all three of these, we're at about 71 grand. You got it. 
Okay, so all payday 71.5 ish. Did I miss anything in the nuances here in this deal? Because this took a couple curveballs. Did we miss any of them? Um, the, the actually the closing because we ended up, you know, there, this property is two hours away from us. Initially, they had no problems coming up to do the signing with the attorney. The husband works for Coke. They had a surprise audit. He wasn't able to leave work. So we pivoted with our attorney asking if it would be okay to, um, can we do this, you know, could you send the documents, sort of do, do this virtual. Um, the state of Ohio is a little bit uh, lacking with getting the virtual notary. Not all the attorneys have it. I think everyone, in fairness, so many people are going, do we do this or not? Yes. Sure. And so um, the buyers were willing to go ahead and get their own, you know, go see their own uh, notary. And then, you know, I told her she had to overnight these uh, documents to get them back to us by Friday morning. So everything could get closed out by the business day. So everything went smoothly until... Um, I realized that she actually, the attorney told me after I went to sign our portion that she actually didn't send the documents overnight FedEx or UPS. She used the USPS priority. So that delayed things a lot. So that's something new that we will definitely change in the future. Well, um, and I think all, okay, so let me just jump in. All viewers should know this, like this is smack in the middle of um, the first two months of COVID and right. you just bopped and weaved. And so it's not, can we get deals done? It's just how. Right. All right. Keep, keep rolling. It took a little longer than what we would like, but yeah. it all happened and mm -hmm. you know, everybody was happy. The buyers are ecstatic. The sellers are, you know, the ex-husband is just <laughs> over the moon. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. you know, so it, you can still do it. It just, right a little extra work. <laughs> right. So how long, you brought up something that made me think, Cammie, that it was an expired. So they're ecstatic, the divorce, like you can't get a better win, win, win energy wise. Right. Right. During a time when, I don't know what they would have done. Maybe you guys know, but they, they already couldn't sell. How long was that on for before this? Two years. Okay. There's the punchline right there. Yeah, exactly. It had been two years. And honestly, he, he told us, he said, if she doesn't, if my ex-wife doesn't sign this so we can sell this property this way, I'm giving it back to the bank. I, there's nothing, there's nothing else I can do. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. So talk about a positive circumstance, giving, a, uh, I won't say a million curveballs, but there's some curveballs here. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then actually we're still on our streak of souls, uh, helping out blended families. Yeah. I don't Again, <laughs> another blended family involved and we're on that streak and hopefully it, can, it will continue. Okay. So you guys brought up another thing that's worth mentioning and I'm cognizant of the viewers time. Um, we, almost every single associate that we've sat down with and we, as you guys know, we teach the authority to how to be the authority in your market. And every time we sit down with someone, we have to get to their avatar. And their avatar is always someone that they care about. They want to help. And you guys are into helping blended families. It's just our whole community is just rot with that. It's, it's awesome. Yes, yes, it is. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. I don't even know if I use this, the right word on that, but you, you get the point. All yeah. right. <laughs> so anything else that I didn't ask guys for a 71 grand deal? No. I don't think so. I think you I, have I got the, the, the your sheet over this morning. It said 44. I said, I know they made more money than that in this deal. So <laughs> yeah. just, just well, a figuring. Yeah. That's what's coming out with the uh, 19, 20, 24 months right there. That's how I figured it. That's awesome. Now, last but not least, what deal number is this for you guys? Uh, how long have you been with Smart Coach? And talk about pre and now. Just summary, like what were you doing before? Because a lot of people watch these, we're on the, as you guys know, we're doing a lot of Wicked Smart sit downs now for free. Every Thursday, four o'clock, if you're watching, you can get on and, and be with us. And the ones that don't know the community go, well, what if I'm part-time? And what if I want to try this part-time? Like talk about pre-Smart Coach, what you guys are doing. Well, this is our fourth deal and pre-real uh, estate entrepreneurship. We were, um, I was a nurse practitioner and Greg worked in the, trucking insurance industry. Mm -hmm. And actually we're both full time. Um, I don't know if you remember this, Chris, but I think it was a, a year ago, January, 
I told you, I want to leave my job in March of 2020. And you're like, oh, no problem. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, and it happened. And, um, you know, not that everything's been fabulous and money's falling from the sky. I mean, we've done a lot of mindset work. We've had right. a lot of personal challenges. And I've said this to Greg many times. I feel like our, you know, entrepreneurship has really been such a spiritual journey. Um, just testing our faith and ourselves and you that's know, what it, it does. It does. it does. It just every curveball that you're you, you can think of, it will happen. <laughs> and I'm sure they're all gonna keep happening. But it's made us better and stronger and mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're so you guys both went doing from full time jobs to full time to leaving your jobs and being full time. Yes, yes. you got it. And in, we, in fourteen months. Yes, it's awesome. and we're loving it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many? How much profit on those four? All three paydays? And I know it's rough because principal payout can be different, and people can cash out earlier or later. But roughly on all four deals, what do we figure? Yeah, it's about one hundred and seventy-five thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 14 months, uh, no, almost no, 100 I'm, grand. I'm sorry, take that back. About 250,000, I apologize. 250. Mm -hmm. Okay, even better. So 14 mm -hmm. months, quarter of a million. Um, some of that could be less if they cash early, but some of it, the way we do deals, can be renegotiated for long, for more money. Correct. Right. Yeah. So bravo. That's not a bad deal. Now, once you start cashing out, you'll be happier. But the, the upfront paydays aren't bad. This is a good one. Yes, yeah. exactly. Awesome. Well, congrats, guys. I know these guys will see more of you for two reasons. One, you're doing more deals, you're cranking the leads. And two, you'll be certified coaches and they're going to be seeing a lot of you and your students. So good, good job. Congrats. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Appreciate Looking it. Forward to it. For the viewers, uh, I mentioned the Wicked Smart sit-downs every Thursday, 4 o'clock, first, second, and third Thursday. The fourth Thursday is for QLS owners only. If you don't have QLS, the course itself, uh, you'll see Greg and Kimmy on a video on that page. Just go to getqls.com. If you already have QLS, uh, you want to go ahead and check into some of the other programs where we lock arms like we are with Greg and Cami. Love to uh, see you. Also, last but not least, if depending on when you're watching this, we have two events a year. They are virtual now. Who knows what the future is going to bring, but QLSlive.com would be the major event every year. Get yourself registered, especially 2020, because it is virtual and you can sit in whatever you want to wear. I don't care, but you can be on there from the comfort of your living room. So thanks again, guys. Thanks, You're Chris. Welcome. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.